welcome to this session in this session we will learn how to create a mysql database instance using terminal point and create a user to give a accurate permissions to access that particular instance only strongly remember for the instance we are going to create in wordpress name of the instance is wordpress where we are uh, in next session in next session we are going to installing wordpress using this wordpress database instance to give a credentials which the user is created now and assigning to the database instance that user credentials using while installation of the WordPress web application. Let's start the step by step procedure. Simply, we'll start from the beginning itself. Now, I would like to verify to create a MariaDB database instance the status of the database which is the enabled in active mode or not let's check whenever you performing an active whenever you are performing an activities using using mariadb let's check the status of the database in server status now system ctl status space mariadb and hit enter now see mariadb services is loaded MariaDB and active position is inactive. Now let's start the session with uh, start the service of MariaDB. Now see system CTL start space MariaDB name of the service hit enter service will be starts. Now let's check once again the status of the MariaDB. Now see here the active position here it is an active and running state. Now it is active and running state. Now let's see here to log in with the user credentials what we have done and created user while installation of the previous version of session of securing MariaDB that session where we have created a root user along with the password use the same credentials by hitting this the following command now on root prompt I am doing here my SQL iPhone u and the username and iPhone p indicate the password hit enter to enter the password likewise okay hit the password what you have created now we have uh, reached a prompt of MariaDB. Now we have uh, reached a prompt of MariaDB. Now I would like to create a database. First of all, these are the steps clearly you will observe it. Create database instance and create a user, new user and uh, attach and uh, like assigning to access that particular database with the using credentials. And the next step will follow that once the created user and assigning that particular database to accessing and granting the permissions and rest of the users we will remove like using the plus privileges that option two will remove rest of the unauthorized accesses to the particular instance now let's see here first step to be create database name called wordpress only i'm taking yeah create database create space database space wordpress the name of the database instance instead of wordpress you can give any of the name which is not already available in your database server that will be creates a database instance where you can use to connect the from application to database server and here the naming convention i'm going to installing a wordpress 
in this mission with the project of the Kamo project, the convenient I am using the same name only itself. Alright, and hit the terminate the option at the end of the line and hit enter. Zero query OK, query is OK, one row affected. The database is created successfully. Now you can observe it where my database is instance is created or not. Show databases. And terminate it and hit enter. See now the list of databases which are already available in your database server. That is MariaDB. Freshly I am installing here now. Now these are the default. It will come information schema, MySQL, performance schema. These are the default. Schema tables will be already available with your database. Now you will observe here, this is the database WordPress, what I have highlighted here. That is what we have created right now. Alright, likewise uh, you have uh, created a name of the database instance with your own name. That will be displays show on the hitting of the command. Like a uh, query you can also say that, show space databases hit enter to show the databases which is already existing in your MariaDB database server. Now once the created a user like a database instance called MariaDB, now I am creating a new user called admin. Create a command is a create space user single quotes username is admin within the single quotes username at the rate where this can this user can be accessible from local host okay within the single quotes again now the single quote is started here with the username without spaces you try to follow the rules and uh, single quote start username i have given simple username to remember for my local server only local system or test server if it is in a production server or production databases, you try to put it as in a critical, the username as well as the password should be uh, to be follow a standardization like capital letter, small letters and a special character, numerical number and minimum reach the eight characters, the strength to be strong. All right. And local any password you can uh, give it is not in a problem for you. And a username after a single quote is end at the rate, but again it's a start the single quote local host end the turn end the single quote space identi identified by f i e d identified by here which is the username which is the identified main which password to be granted to this particular user okay whenever he is using by entering his username and password this is the username here what i have given admin that is the username at at the rate localhost space identified space by space admin within the single quotes you have to specify this is the admin identified by after the identified by within the single quote that is the password what you are assigning to the particular user all right and hit terminator and hit enter now you have an error of your sql syntax right now here corresponding that your mysql uh, server database version sorry it's a create spelling e c r e a t b all right now hit enter Earlier we have already user is created in the database users table. So I have used a revo call privileges from the user to taking back the privileges which is already allotted, granted and I have dropped the user. Now I will use a command to create a user. See here I have written the command clearly. C-R-E-A-T-E, create user space admin at the rate localhost 
space identified by ADMI N and hit enter. Now query OK, zero is affected. The user is created with the username and the credentials of the password is username. I have a, simply I have given admin only. You specify your own password here that would be accessible while uh, accessing of the user using this credential. Now I am assigning that WordPress database to granting the permissions to this particular admin user. Now see, uh, this is the admin I am using uh, my convenient username only. Any username you can use it. Now see, granting the permissions using the following command is grant space all all permissions I am assigning to the particular WordPress database what we have created right now. And uh, WordPress instance name you have to specify here. Instance name dot star indicates complete to admin at the rate local host. The user I have a specifying the permissions to where the user is available local host and administrator username okay grant all on wordpress dot star to all permissions of the database instance of the wordpress to username single quote username single quote end at the rate single quote start local host single quote end and terminate use the command uh, statement terminator and hit enter now query is okay without errors the query is means permissions are granted successfully and uh, instead of this user we are flushing means we are restricting no one to be accessed now use the flush privileges Privileges, hit enter. The rows are affected now. Exit here and try to log in with the newly created username and password. Now simply backslash Q or exit to exit from here. Now we are at the prompt of our Linux uh, root user. Now Simply we have a earlier access database using root credentials. Now I am accessing what the database I have created right now and assigned a username using that user credentials, username and password to accessing my database instance. Similar command only where the username will only change. My SQL space if and you admin is now admin is my username and if and p password now enter the password of the admin now see here the database is accessed now hit the command of show databases show databases see information schema is there wordpress two of the things which is accessible to this user whose are access uh, here it's uh, displaying that uh, database information schema wordpress these are the things enough now we can able to accessing the database create the instance created the username along with the password and granted the permissions to access that particular instance of the user and uh, flush the privileges to updated the uh, credential settings and all to this particular user and uh, Tested with the using the same created user credentials with the username and password. Now we are able to access the instance here. In the next session, we will see to installing of the WordPress environment using these databases. The database instance is here WordPress will use to install the WordPress software. We'll see on the next session. Thank you.